Hello YouTube, the Milkman68 here with a mail day video for you guys. Um, wanted to do a collection or like a partial PC collection video. Now that I somewhat organized a lot of my PC cards, but uh, I'll save that for a different day. I finally got my uh, Com C order in. Um, if you guys know what Com C in is, it's uh, check out my cards. Uh, dot com. Really awesome site to buy uh, sports cards from. And uh, if if you collect like if you are a PC guy or personal collect collection, um, meaning like you collect a certain player or whatnot, definitely go on that website. They they're usually cheaper than eBay or people on Facebook. Um, if you're a canvas collector like me, that's definitely your go-to uh, spot. But uh, what I also want to show is, well, before I show what I got. I want to show the cards I got from a case break of Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. I got the Devil Slot for a whopping $75. High risk, high reward. High reward. Uh, I know Jesper Bratt was in there. Uh, Will Butcher. Was his Young Gun in there or was his Young Gun Series 1? Well, I think we're going to find that out because I know that is one of the cards in uh, in the Com C uh it's one of the cards I got from Com C. Never pulled that butcher, never got one online, and he's a really cheap young gun for whatever reason. He's only like two dollars. I don't know why. I do have the canvas of his that I want on an eBay bid, but not his base. But now I have his base. I know it's in there. And uh, you guys saw the canvas. You guys saw I did pull a brat. Well, now I have two other brats. Uh, one's a base young gun, and the other one's a really nice one. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any canvas cards, which is weird. A whole case, and there were no Devil's Canvas cards. Uh, ho hopefully, uh, whenever I find a Series 2 tin and a Blaster, that'll uh, change. I'm only going to get one of each, though. But those should be fun breaks. I'm not going to buy a Hobby Box only because of how great my pulls were just from buying seven random packs. Let's see, I got half the Young Guns out of the box. One of them was Brat. Um, got Canvas. Um, rookie breakouts and a um, ex uh, exclusives and a rookie jersey of Clayton Keller. I think I showed those off in a, in the uh, previous video. Yeah, that was crazy. I wanted to record it. My friend said no, you shouldn't record. I'm like, all right, fine. And go go and go figure. I pull broken. <laughs> anyway, so um, I did get a rainbow marquee rookie of uh, Brat. I like how these look. We have a retro rookie of Nico Heeshear. Then there's a Brat portrait. I want to show the back as well. Why not? Nico. At first, I thought this was Johnny Gaudreau for some reason. I don't know why he looked like Gaudreau to me, but... And the 13 looked like a 14 when I saw in the video. And there's Butcher. I don't know if Coleman has a portrait or a young gun. If Blake Coleman does not have a Young Guns, it's probably going to be a Young Gun update in SPA, and I hope so, because I do really like Coleman. And then there's a uh, Retro of Butcher. Here's a Marquee Rookie of Brat. And then there's Nico. Very nice. Another Brat. And I did get a Will Butcher. So that's pretty cool. Glad I got that trio. Here's the uh, base Brett. It's my second one. It's kind of it's kind of strange how the only Devil's Young Guns I didn't pull from this year. Assuming Coleman didn't have one. Because like I said, I forget. You think I would have looked that up? I think I did look it up and he didn't have one. Could be wrong. It's It's been a while since I looked up. But uh, I didn't pull Butcher. <laughs> so weird usually i don't even pull my team's young guns in the first place i'll pull like other ones like i don't even remember what the last sharks young gun i've personally pulled was i'm hoping i get a Joachim ryan one though from my tinder blaster but uh i guess the big hit of the debt or the big hit of the break for me and one that pretty much got me my money back and then some is a ud exclusives of jesper brett number 27 out of 100 Really awesome. 
I know a few of these. I I, th I know there's a couple listed of these close to 100, and I think a f couple did sell close to 100, so that's really awesome. Um, definitely going to take out my base brat that's in a one touch, and of course put this in the one touch. My phone is crazy. Uh, this uh, this uh, package from ComC actually would have came sooner. It's just it would have came the same night or the same day as Patrick Eliash's jersey retirement, which I still got to do a video on. But I didn't want it to come in the mail that day because I didn't want my parents to see this package. Because you know how your parents are when you buy cards and whatnot. Especially when you're an adult like me, but hey. <laughs> I'm 23 and they, they they don't like the fact that I buy sports cards, but whatever. But I do like those, how they put it in a uh, 400 count storage box. That's going to come in handy for me. But a lot of these cards are uh, Steven Santini. And that's going to help me greatly with my Santini PC. And of course I forget to... Uh, Of course, I forget one side of the box to uh, cut off. Well, not cut off, but cut. So, I'm gonna take the cards out sideways. Oh, okay, let's see what's in here. I forget which autos. Not his um, future watch auto, unfortunately, because I didn't notice they had that until afterwards. Okay, good, the uh, butcher is in here. I think everything except the butcher is an auto. <laughs> but, um,. I don't want to rip this box. I'm trying to get this. To, ah, whatever. Alrighty. I mean, they do package everything nicely, and what I do like is, um, was it like a flat three, two ninety nine or three ninety nine for shipping? And then obviously like three dollars more if you want to go. Uh, if you want to go more. I mean, if you want to get it faster. Oh, cool. Add a couple top loaders. Oh, yeah, none of these are in top loaders. You actually have to pay more to... You have to pay a little more to get those, but that's fine. I don't think I wanted to grade any of these, but... uh, Jesus Christ, is that one card? Oh, my God, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll start off with the shadow box. My God. Do I even want to... Should I get a one-touch for this? I don't know. I'll ask one of my friends. <laughs> I like how they have that. Jesus Christ, look, look at this. Oh my god, that is a really thick card. I'm not used to these thick cards, but... Beautiful Santini. Right there. Numbered, uh... 4 of 199. Yeah, that's just going to go back in this. I don't want to ruin this card. It's from SPX. Jesus, I didn't realize how thick that was. I guess before we go to more Santini, I'll show the Butcher since that's in the back. Oh, okay, no, I lied. They're, they're sleeved. That one just wasn't sleeved. There's my Butcher base. <laughs> So now I have all base Devil's Young Guns, unless, like I said, Coleman has one. But, uh, yeah, just we'll go through these in order. So we have another thick Santini, also from SPX, the blue uh, version. Number 41 of 165. I really hope we see him again this year in the NHL. Kind of sucks that they play Lovejoy over him. I don't get why, I don't know what... Santini did exactly to go in the doghouse, but uh, 98 of 99 on this uh, rookie patch auto from uh, SPX. Beautiful patch, though. I'm not really too picky with the numbering. We have a uh, rainbow uh, rookie auto. Actually, I wasn't even sure if it was called rainbow, because I know they have like a tie-dye one I need to get. That's from... Um, Last year's Opeachy Platinum, which I sadly did not get a uh, hobby box for, even though I wanted to. For sure this year, though, I will. Ultimate Rookies, number 242 of 299. And then there's his uh, base rookie auto. I did buy the uh, red one. 
And I'm saving up to get the gold, and I think there's a green one I can also get. There's that. I know he's wearing... Okay, some of these he's wearing 34. This one looks like he's wearing 38. His official number, though, is 16. So just in case there are any other uh, Santini um, collectors out there, and you want to get his jersey number, don't go for, like, 38 or 34. Go for 16. Even if it's not going to match his jersey number on the card, his true jersey number is uh, 16. Another... Um, from Ultimate Collection, number 10 of 199. I don't really like the auto on this one, only because of the gold. I think it looks ugly, in my opinion. Here's the Ultimate Rookies, number 2 of 25. Nice little patch right there. And then, from SP Game Used, uh, blue parallel, not numbered. I do have, um, that is a sticker auto, by the way. Not that, I'm not too picky with sticker autos, but I know some people are. Actually, I think I can show it. I think I have a Santini, uh, jersey auto I can show off. Oh, both actually, cool. I'm glad I saw that Franco Harris redemption, even though I already redeemed that one now, but I still like to keep my redemption cards, but I didn't buy an Ice Premier's autos of Santini because I knew I had a couple, and here's one of them, numbered 133 of 299. When I go through, like, my Sharks, Devils, and Lightning PCs, though, I think there are a couple Santinis in there. And then here's uh, Jersey Auto. These I've had for a while. And okay, actually, this is not the one I was thinking of, I think. I may have a Santini one like this that's lower numbered. I could be wrong. But here's a uh, Ricky Patch Auto from SP Game Used. Number 19 of 25. And uh, next time I make a big purchase on ComC... Definitely going to get his cup RPA, because that's pretty cheap. Same with Zaka's. It's great. I love how a lot of my PC players are cheap. And uh, I know his Future Watch autos go for 10 plus on eBay. I could get that for like half the price on ComC, which is great. And for those of you who are curious, I paid $29.58 for all those Santini cards, except the last three I showed, and the Will Butcher, and the shipping was $3.99. Flat rate shipping is always $3.99, which is great. You don't have to pay right away with ComC either, so that's always nice. But uh, that is going to do it. Uh, thank you all, as always, for watching. Um, I think next time around, like I said, I'll get more Santini. Uh, I actually did buy um, more Santinis, but I need to buy more. I bought a lot of, like, base rookie cards. Because, you know, any PC player, you still need, like, their base rookies. But there are a couple more autos I want to get, just to ensure I get them. One of them is definitely that Seismic Gold auto. Um, maybe I'll uh, get those tonight or tomorrow. I know tomorrow I am going again in Nor'eastern Storm, so that should be fun. But, uh, actually, I'm going to be that crazy guy and still try and get a tin. I think I might do that tonight after my workout. Go to Target, see if they have a tin. If they have a tin... Great. I'll either record and upload that, or I'll either record it tonight, upload it tomorrow, or I'll record and upload it tomorrow if I get the chance. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that after work before I head up to my LCS. So, obviously, they're not going to sell the tins. But anyway, as always, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, mail day. It's a lot more eventful of a mail day than previous, but. Um, Stay tuned for that PC collection. It's not my entire PC because I still need to find a lot of cards because I know my parents put a lot of my cards away. Hoping they didn't throw any out. Otherwise, there's a bunch of or there's a handful of Tyon and Glasnow albums that are down the drain. Uh, I think for the most part, I do have like 
a large bulk of my Devil's Lightning and Sharks auto, so I'm happy about that. But, um, there's some graded cards I need to find, like my Meyer Young Guns. So hopefully I, uh, hopefully I can find that. Anyway, okay. Now, now thank you again for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more. Whenever I can find the tins and blaster boxes, definitely going to pick one each of those up, and I'll do that for a video. And then whenever... Whenever SP Authentic come, whenever SPA comes out and uh, Platinum comes out, gonna open up a hobby box of those. Promise you guys that. So look forward to that in the future, and uh, that's it for now.